All right, Kenman here, and today's unboxing is from a new company to me, Uncharted Territories. Strange waters, what will we encounter? Let's find out. Before we start, I'm not sponsored by anyone. I purchased this at retail price. I do these videos because I love discussing knives and sharing info and ideas with others. If you have any questions or thoughts, please feel free to comment down below. What do we have in the box? It is from x Bag on the floor. That's right, x is what I'm going to call it for now, unless I get corrected. x 2 Tauk, Tauk. I think it's x Anyway, um... Yeah, it's, um, I can't remember if I was on a stream, online, on live somewhere. I don't remember. And someone had mentioned this. It might have been Knives Fast. Um, but yeah, I looked up the company. I've actually found a couple of knives. I got another one that will be coming pretty soon. But this is the first one from x Let's check it out. All right, so that was the box. Very simple. In the bag, ooh, it's a little one. This is gonna knock off a few boxes today, huh? All right, mini bag on the floor. This is the x Seed, J01, boom. The x Seed, it looks like a little seed, right? Hmm, all right. Instant uh, feel good action going on so far. All right, let's break her down. The x Seed has a D2 blade steel, nice little small blade there, and a micarta handle, uh, nice and simple design, little choke up spot right there. Ooh, this is going to have to go in the mini knife shootout, huh? I just started it up. Um, be going to stage two. This gets to jump right into stage two, a little late entry for the mini knife shootout. But I don't know, this one might be a contender, huh? All right, can I thumb that? Yes, I can. Okay, so we've got that D2 and the micarta. Um, it's a liner lock right there. Swings down shut fairly easy. You got that fuller hole for flicking out. Simple little clean design. Pocket clip can be swapped to the other side. Looks like it's actually a pretty big, long pocket clip for this knife. Um, it does recess and fit down into that little area. I was going to say I would consider maybe taking like one of these smaller clips that I have and trying it out. But it looks like because of that recessed area, which is an appreciative item. You know, when they recess it, it sits down in there a little bit better. Um, but that kind of limits. I'd have to either hollow that out to get that other one to fit or just be happy with this one i don't know i'm not mad at it yet but it just seems like it's awfully large for a smaller knife not totally necessary uh we got a lanyard hole right there if you want to put a nice lanyard edyard through that there and a smaller knives sometimes when you're holding here gives you that extra grab for the pinky which is nice this does feel good in the hand it's thick it's got a beefy kind of stocky handle for the smaller size that it is I can appreciate that. Um, blade is solid. No real movement there. That is nice. Centered nicely as well. Just right in the middle as it should be. That is great. Um, there are a couple of little jimps on there. Kind of hidden in that spot. I would appreciate those jimps to go out. A little bit further maybe out to like there where you put where I put my thumb uh, it's not bad I don't mind it so much but I do like a jimp wow this does feel good the the way it curves down there in the front I feel like you can get in there and make some nice controlled cuts that choke up spot is large and wide really accepting for that hand to get in there for those tight little maneuvers you need to make I can put my Ring finger on that spot. That, that feels nice. I kind of like that. I'm going to wipe this off really quick here. Let me get a crappier one. Oh, this excess 
excess excessive oil and a nice little stone washed kind of black finished blade it says D2 right in there and then it says X2 on the pocket clip but other than that there is no other branding that I see I like that appreciate it nice little clean look on it um, the red accent there up by the bolster where the pivot is kind of a pivot collar almost design like teardrop pivot collar right we've got a captive pivot as well just the screw hole on the one side that is nice the micarta feels good it's like i said it's kind of chunky like a chunky seed feels good in this hand right here i don't know how it feels in your hand but in this hand Getting then approved. Enjoy these unboxings when I find a new company that, uh, what's going on here, that we haven't seen before. If so, hit the like button. Subscribe if you would like to see more. I'm not sure what I just was doing. It is kind of a tight spot. You got to get in there. If you look, It's there's not a whole lot of room for getting in that hole, but uh, it does flick out just fine. I did flip it out with my thumb earlier as well. And I'm not as good with that, but it can be done. So it's a little tight fit, but it is a smaller knife. I'm noticing, I mean, I'm obviously a lefty. I put the clip on the other side, but I'm noticing that when I go to put pressure on it to open it, the clip, I don't know if you can see that. See that little teeny bit of movement? It literally shimmies back and forth, like as you just kind of put a little pressure on it, it doesn't sit still. It kind of wants to, it's not moving back here. It's just, it's long and thin. So I can feel, it's just basically like a torque. I don't know if you can see that. It's just a small amount. I don't know if it, it's just kind of strange. I don't, yeah, that's why. Because pretty much all my other clips don't do that. Yeah, it's just, it's such a thin, long clip, and then this hole is larger right there. It's making this just thin enough that it, I can kind of get that little torque on there. And I don't know if I, you know, we'll, that'll be something we'll, when we do the mini shootout here, well, it'll be something to talk about. Um, okay, where are we? I'm getting a nice little close-up here. Really kind of a simple shape. Seed-like. I like this curve on the blade for the... For the grind, it's kind of a nice little accent shape, I guess. All right. Well, now it disappears on the table there. It's a small one, under six. We're talking, it wants to be six. It could be considered six, but I'd almost say it's five and seven eighths or more like five and 15 sixteenths just under two and a half inch blade it says that i think it said it was like legal in all states the size because it's under a three inch blade one's that two and a half is what they're going to call it and the cutting surface is about two and a quarter with a nice little curve on the belly three and a half inch handle Small knife. How do you think it'll do in the mini knife shootout coming soon? Wow. A little bit thicker on the blade stock for a smaller knife. 12. If I get in there flat. 12. That 12 carries all the way out to there before that grind starts bringing it in. You can see that blade is thick on the back right there. All the way in. So that gives it some nice rigidity. <laughs> uh, like I said the handle feels beefy yeah generally the smaller knives are under a half inch this way 0.57 definitely thicker this way and up to almost an inch a little more than an inch on that tip right there but back here just under an inch chunky stocky little small knife but I dig it I'm pretty happy about this one here it's gonna go great with my minis and when you can choke up on it like this 
See, I can get that full grip when I'm on that choke up spot. I've got a full amount of handle sticking out the back. You know, I do have the pinky fall off when you just hold it here, but that brings it up and makes it so much more manageable if you're doing some tasks, jobs, and things with it. <clears throat> 3.13, kind of a little bit heavier for the smaller knife. I compare everything with the Pyrite, 3.67. So it is just a little bit, 3.13. Uh, where is it? I'm losing my mind. The banter, 2.0 it's definitely smaller i was trying to find a couple that were similar in size but some of my smaller ones are actually quite a bit smaller than this and i don't know where my other one is so i guess we're good here 3.13 so yeah um I don't know if you want to call it a little bit heavier for a smaller size knife. It doesn't feel heavy. I mean, it is dense. It's definitely dense, a little chunky, little seed right here. Boom. It's got some nice action, though. Okay, so the Pyrite is a nice, common, not quite full-size knife, but it definitely has this little seed beat. It's a small for sure. Get out that baby banter. A lot of people might have this knife. You can see the size. Definitely a little bit thin, slimmer profile on the handle, both directions. And then the blade is a little bit shorter. Cutting surface is actually fairly close, but definitely a smaller knife uh, comparatively. What's the one here? This is probably the closest. We've got the Mini October from Kaiser. This is one where I've got it kind of on the border of whether or not it fit in the mini knife shootout, just from the length and the size. Um, as you can see, if I put them end to end, it is a little bit longer than the seed. Handle would be the same if you just rounded this off right here. And the blade actually would be about the same size as well. So really that seed is about the same size as a mini October, if you've got one of those. All right, what do we think about x -Tuk? Newer company to me, I'm not sure how long they've been around. I did find a few models. They were on sale. Um, I don't know if they still will be, but I, like, I, I did get it off of Amazon. Um, but yeah, not a bad design, not a bad feel. D2 and uh, Micarta, pff, decent materials. The build looks nice. It feels good in the hand. I'm uh, pretty excited about it. I have another one, like I said, coming in the mail pretty soon. Uh, watch for that in the future. If you do have any comments on the Extuk uh, company or knives of, from them that I should look at, comment below. <laughs> Stay sharp. I'll see you soon.